The concern today is that we're facing budget cuts, and this is just the wrong time for that. The National Institutes of Health is just critical to hematology to advance us, and it's uh, being jeopardized right now. I am extremely concerned about the impact of cuts to the National Institutes of Health and what that may mean for treatments, as well as what that may mean for jobs. So many projects have made tremendous advances, but they need to make the next leap from understanding into a treatment. And funding right now might be funding, you know, the cure of tomorrow. It's critical that we inform people who are legislators making decisions about appropriations uh, to really know how much of an impact their investment has. We often take it for granted as physicians and scientists that what we do is important because we believe in what we do. But if you don't communicate the importance of what you're doing to people who don't do what you do, they're not going to know. Our job is to uh, interact with government officials to make sure they understand the importance of what hematology is and what hematology research is about. People in Congress listen to their constituents and if enough uh, patient groups or enough physician groups come forward and go to town hall meetings, go to their offices, whenever they can interact with them, then we can achieve that purpose. The American Society of Hematology has shown me how important advocacy is. ASH has an incredible website, point and click, to be able to send a letter to your congresswoman or congressman. There's a real commitment from ASH to making it easier for us to become advocates and the incredible and dramatic influence it can make on really making a difference and helping to shape our patient's care, our future research, as well as our own interests in medicine.